Let me introduce you to my pet tuberous begonia. These are really cool plants, but they can also make you think you're a lousy gardener because during the warm months of the year, tuberous begonias look beautiful with lots of blooms and great healthy foliage. But once the days get shorter and the days get cooler, they start to look horrible. And you think, what have I done to my poor baby? Well, you haven't done anything. That's, that's just the life cycle of the plant. In tropical places, they pop up out of the soil when the days get warmer and longer. And once it gets to the cool time of the season, well, they die back to the ground. So once they start to look bad in the fall, go ahead and cut them off and then put that pot somewhere and wait till spring and it will pop back up and be beautiful again during the summer months. Tuberous begonias can be a problem for another reason though. They like moist soil. And if you have a pot like this one without drainage in it, you're going to have some problems. You'll suddenly start to see little flying gnats all around your plant. Those are called fungus gnats and they live down in very moist soil. And ultimately, not only will they drive you crazy in your house, they'll ultimately also kill your tuberous begonia or whatever plant they happen to be living in. So we want to get rid of them. I love this tip because we happened upon it quite by accident. You see, one evening in the bathroom, Aunt Betsy was soaking her uppers in a little uh, scotch glass. And she had it full of a minty mouthwash. We well, came down in the morning and Betsy noticed there were about 25 fungus gnats floating in with her false teeth. Well, it works. If you have fungus gnats, put a minty mouthwash next to the plant and suddenly they will dive in there. You also may want to let your soil dry out a little bit because they can't live in a drier soil. Now you may notice another kind of little flying insect around your fruit bowl. Well those are called Drosophila. Well that's a fancy way of saying fruit flies. Fruit flies are pretty much harmless. As a matter of fact it's fun to grow them to feed to your hummingbirds outside but in your kitchen you don't want them. Well we we'll use the same technique without the false teeth. What you want to do is use a little bit of vinegar. Apple cider vinegar or white vinegar will work just fine. When you buy this stuff, buy it in the gallon. It's very inexpensive and there's a lot of ways we can use it on our house plants and in the garden. Put this near the source of the Drosophila or fruit flies and they will dive in there. Basically vinegar uh, smells like a fruit that's a little bit overripe and so they'll dive in there and you'll get rid of a lot of them that way. And obviously also you want to take the overripe fruit and make it into a fruit shake or it put it in your compost heap. So we've gotten rid of fungus gnats and we've gotten rid of Drosophila and we know a little bit more than we should about Aunt Betsy.